How can you save hours of time filtering Excel data? Add a slicer. Creating a slicer in Excel is a great way to add interactivity to your data tables and pivot tables. Our focus in this training will be on filtering data tables. As you can see in this example, in Excel, slicers provide a user-friendly way to filter data, making it easier to analyze and visualize. For instance, if I only want to see the blue division, here I simply select it in the slicer and the data is quickly filtered or move to the red division. What if I want red and blue? Hold control and there we go. Perhaps I want to focus only on the engineering department. Now, right now, all departments are being shown here. So now I have engineering in the blue and red division. It's that easy. Let's look at the steps to begin filtering with a slicer. Number one is preparing your data. So to work with slicers to filter an Excel worksheet, your data must be formatted as a table and not a data range. Currently, this data is just a data list. If your data isn't already in an Excel table, you can convert it by selecting or moving into the data range and pressing Control T. From here, confirm my table has headers, which it does, and there we go. Now this data is formatted as a table. To learn more about creating and working with tables in Excel, click the link above or look for a link to my video in the description below. The next step is inserting the slicer. So once your data is in a table format, first click anywhere inside that Excel table. Next, move to the Table Design tab in the ribbon. This is a contextual tab that only displays when you're inside a table. Next, choose Insert Slicer in the Tools group, or you can move to the Insert tab, and here we have Slicer. The next step is choosing the Slicer fields. When this dialog box appears, you can select the field or columns that you want to use for the slicer. So you can pick one or more. We'll start here with just region. A slicer will be created for every field you select. And here's our slicer. I'll move this over to the right hand side, but this could be positioned a number of places. We could insert space above the top, over to the right with other slicers. But this represents all of the options that are available for region. These are the same options we would see if we click on the dropdown of the filter. However, this is much more visual and a lot easier for those people who may be more casual users of Excel. And once again, as we saw before, if I only want the east region, we're good, west, and so on. Our next step is leveraging the slicer. So in addition to picking these regions individually, by holding control, we can pick more than one. And now we're seeing the east, northeast, and southwest regions. To clear those filters, we could click control again, for instance, to just unselect that individual one, or in the upper right-hand corner of the slicer, here is clear filter, also Alt-C. Another option is formatting the slicer. So with that slicer selected, here we have a contextual ribbon tab just for the slicer. From here, you can change the style, resize it, adjust the no total number of columns, lots of different options. And so for instance, if I just wanted to size this, I could grab the edges and change the dimensions. But in the ribbon tab, I can be more specific and maybe make this a little bit more consistent or have it match maybe other elements that are on my screen. Additionally, from this ribbon tab, here we see different slicer styles. I typically would pick something that might match our table, but here I could pick another view or format for that. And if I wanted to present this information with multiple columns, here I can make the change and we could even resize what those buttons look like. To move the position, just hover over, look for the four-headed arrow, and you can click and drag. Another option with slicers is adding multiple slicers. We could have done that initially when we first added this one, but let's go back to our table. And from our table design, insert slicer, and I'd like to add one for the department. And then once again, any of the formatting options that I want would apply. Perhaps I'll move this over to the right-hand side. And I want this to maybe match the dimensions I have for the region. There we go. 
and utilizing some of my other options here for arranging or formatting, for instance. Let's say if I have these selected here, I'll hold shift for both of these. And in my slicer ribbon, here I have my arrange options. And let's say I want to align them to the top. So this gives them a really consistent appearance. And we'll go one more and come into my slicer styles so that they look very consistent and become a really easy way to create kind of an informal dashboard about how I can interact with this information. And let's try that once again. It's good to know if you have more than one slicer that these are inclusive. That is, if I pick just the East region, now anything I would select here for the departments would only be for this region. But if I do East and Northeast, I'll hold Control, and now I'd like to focus in only on the gadgets department. And so that is showing me the gadgets department for those two regions. How will you use slicers to enhance your data analysis and make your Excel workbooks more interactive and user-friendly? To learn more ways to be productive with Microsoft Excel, join my free tips newsletter. Visit thesoftwarepro.com slash Excel. This training was helpful. Please subscribe to this channel for other time-saving software tips. Thanks for watching.